So here's a thought for you. What if a man was allowed to decorate? No, a space lover was allowed to decorate their living room. And I'm not talking a hobby room, I'm talking an entire living room. What would you get? Well, folks, I'm about to show you, so hang on tight to those seats. What I'm about to show you is what is known as his sunny home. His cloudy home is somewhere up in Atlanta, you know, as his family refers to it. Why? Because he only shows up when it's cloudy out. Ed has been into astronomy since the 60s, basically the Apollo era, so he's been around it for a very long time, and he took it one step further. He actually made astronomy into a career. Now, how cool is it to have a career that is also a hobby and one that you love? Basically, you don't work a day in your life. I mean, wow. So, enough of me babbling. Let's go check out that living room. All of these rockets are to scale. To give you an idea, this is a little one inch man. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is a 172 scale rocket. So the astronauts would be inside of there. This is the Apollo Saturn V, which for me as a kid got me really motivated about space growing up in the 60s and watching Neil Armstrong set, uh, set foot on the moon. So did you make all of these or did you Yeah, I bought them? them. They're kits. Um, virtually all of them are, uh, there's a company called Dragon Models Okay. Uh, that produce these. I, I, and I've had these for a few years. I'm not sure if they're still producing the Saturn V. This one here is kind of a Frankenstein telescope. I did sort of make this one out of parts because they didn't have a Saturn 1B. But you can see um, Alan Shepard went up in the uh, Mercury capsule. This held, held one astronaut in 1961. But look at this. From 1961 to 1969, when Neil Armstrong said on the moon what we That's were incredible. Able, able to achieve. Um, wow. Also, notice the engineering color patterns, the black and white with the Saturn V and the, and the 1B. Now, these rockets here were Air Force rockets. The Gemini, it was kind of in between. Notice this has the, uh, the black and white stripes. Uh -huh. Lineage goes back to Werner von Braun, who was a German engineer during World War II, and unfortunately, he was working on trying to get to the moon and to Mars, but unfortunately, uh, he was conscripted by the German military and built the V2. Um, and notice the stripe patterns on the German V2? Yeah. Uh, at the end of World War II, about a hundred German rocket engineers were brought to the United States that formed the nucleus of the U.S. rocket and space program and eventually NASA. So Werner von Braun, who did this in the 30s and 40s, went on to build for the United States, and again, these are air, uh, the Atlas and the Gemini Titan, those are Air Force rockets, mm -hmm. and he was working on this. Apollo 7 used this as well as Skylab, and then uh, the Saturn V, but you can see the, uh, the origin similar. from, yeah, from the uh, so German it, rocket. It's trip. not like a, a number date sequence, it's just his style, like his artistic style. Right, because when they would launch, they would have roll patterns, and the German engineers would, oh. they're like, you know, let's do it, let's paint these stripes on there so we can figure out what part, a section of the rocket that we're looking at. Uh, as it, well, that's as clever. It yeah, I, this, I didn't realize there was that much significance behind that. This this is not to scale. This is 144. Those are these are all including the shuttle, uh, 172 scale. This is 144. But this rocket, our um, uh, space launch system, 
with the Artemis mission going back to the moon mm -hmm. um, is slightly taller than the Saturn V. So we're, we're hoping to see this launch within the next two or three years, and that will carry astronauts back back to the moon. That's uh, incredible. Their command service module, Orion, is there. Okay. That's at a, at a different scale. But this is That my, is quite a collection here. My homage to Apollo that got me into astronomy and space science. I am sciences. just in awe. And then I, you I got have, your geology going on over here? Yeah, at heart I'm a geologist, a uh, planetary geologist, and oh, the and only scientist guitar. to have walked on the moon <laughs> on the very last mission was a colleague of Gene Cernan. He was the last man on the moon. Gene Cernan, I've got his autograph okay. there. Nice. But he, uh, his co-pilot, lunar module pilot, was the only scientist to have walked on the moon, uh, Jack Schmidt. Who was a geologist? So I'm proud to say yeah. I am a rock wielding, uh, mm -hmm. rock hammer ge geologist out there at <laughs> heart. <laughs> so, in the next few videos, I'm going to show you a little bit of what Ed showed me during my uh, morning long visit. And he showed me a lot of things. I got to see his garden, which has an astronomy cool theme to it. His living room, which was definitely astronomy themed as you've just seen. But we also got to tour his observatory. So in our next video, we're gonna take a peek inside the observatory and see what's inside, see how it operates, what does he like, what doesn't he like, and some really cool things that are about to happen out at Deer Lick Astronomy Village. So, speaking about Deer Lick, you really need to come and visit. If you live anywhere near here, this place is incredible. Stop by, get a membership, and join us out on the field. There's always somebody out there, but you have power, you have concrete slabs, you have a restroom, a picnic pavilion, a warm-up shed, a cool-down shed. I mean, basically, we've got it all, and the views are unparalleled to anywhere around here. In fact, this is the only dark space available in this particular location. Now you could go down to the Okie Finoki Swamp. There is another dark space down there, but you have the potential of gators, maybe. I don't know, I haven't gone there. I'm not quite brave enough to look a gator in the eye in the middle of the night. So, check out Deer Lake Astronomy Village, located in Sharon, Georgia. You can find them online at deerlakegroup.com. Y'all come down and join us.